Hey guys, so I'm gonna do another everyday makeup drawer. I'm just switching out the stuff I've been using and then I'm gonna shop my stash and pull in new stuff. So if you've never been here before, hello, my name is Drea. Definitely check down below in the description bar for what this is, but I'm just gonna jump right into it. So brow stuff always stays, you guys know the drill. This liner always stays, you guys know the drill. Every highlighter is going back except for my one um, makeup use up item. So I've got three of the Sephora Golden Hour highlights. I like these, I think they're decent, um, especially for the price, they're really good. Check them out, swatch them in the store if you can. This is one of my all time favorite highlighters. It's the 002 from Dior. It's so beautiful on the cheeks. And this one from Tarte and Exposed, it's just okay to me. Like to me, it wasn't really anything special. It had a lot of sparkle in it, but you know, I'm not like hugely into that. Okay, so all that's like sunscreen and setting spray. Well, not setting spray, like priming spray. So that's also gonna stay. So moving over here to primer. Makeup use up, glitter glue, stay, makeup use up, makeup use up. So the only primer I have is this one from NARS, which is the Pore and Shine Control Primer. I'm almost done this, it's a little mini sample, so I'm just gonna leave this and I'm sure I'll get through it before I even update next time. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This can go back, that's the mattifying one. And then the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I feel like I didn't really get to use this enough this time, but I did use it, so I'm gonna put it back for now and you know I'll bring it in at another point in time. For powder, this one here, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC powder. I talked about this last time. It's so cakey and on me, it does not work with my oily skin. It just looks so cakey on the skin. So I'm gonna put this back and I'm sure I will declutter that at some point. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. You guys, there's like almost nothing left. I think I could get maybe two uses more out of this. So I'm just gonna leave it in and remind me to pull in another loose powder because I'm gonna need it. Um, but I'm gonna use that up and then put it in my empties. So both of those powders are makeup use up. So concealer. This can go back, Tarte Shape Tape. This can go back, this is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day um, Concealer. I did do a review on this way back when. I like it, but it's not enough coverage if you have very dark circles. So for me, I like to mix it with the Tarte Shape Tape because the Tarte is very, kind of a dry consistency. This is very luminous and it actually has a really nice texture on the skin. So if you don't have very dark circles, just a little bit, you might wanna check this out. It's really beautiful, um, but I love it for mixing. The Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. This to me is like more of a color corrector and I didn't love it. And also, I don't know what's going on, but it almost, it almost looks like it's going gray. Like the product is turning gray from my brush touching it. I don't know what that is about, but I'm not the biggest fan. Um, so I've got two color correctors in here. I love both of these. This one is almost used up, so I'm gonna just keep that in and put this away only until I use that one up because I love this hard candy one, this Cushion Wonder color corrector, so good. And that is also a makeup use up item right there. Okay, so foundation. I've got my Smashbox, which is makeup use up. So that's staying. The e.l.f. one I used quite a few times. Love that, that can go back though. The YSL All Hours. I'm gonna update you guys in my foundation roundup video about this. I like it, but it definitely has pros and cons. So I'm gonna put that back as well. And then the Double Wear um, from Estee Lauder. I was mixing that with the Double Wear Nude. So I'm gonna put back that Double Wear because that really wasn't even supposed to be in there. I'm gonna keep this one just, I might not even keep it in here like for the whole next rotation, but I wanna give this like one or two more uses before I do my foundation roundup video because I kinda need to test this just a little bit more. I'm pretty sure what I think about it. I'm pretty sure I like it. I did do a first impression video on this one too, but I just need a little bit more time with that. Okay, so palettes that I was using. The MAC Basic Bitch Palette, love this so much. 
so much. It is amazing, but I need to put it back and use some other stuff. And then the Mischief Minx from MAC. Also like this. Don't love it as much as the other one, but it's really nice if you like warm tones. Um, really pretty, but gonna put that back. I feel like I still want to keep this in here, just my Z palette with my ColourPop and Makeup Geek single. So I'm gonna put that there and then the, um, Take Me to Brazil from BH. I only ended up using this one more time just to test it out, but the look I did was, I tried to go as crazy as possible. I ended up using like eight colors. Um, you guys didn't see that in a video or anything, but I just wanted to test it and I do like this. If you want a colorful palette, it's a great value because the colors are blendable and they show up really nicely. So I do recommend this. Okay, so liners and lip liners. This one I always have trouble deciding what to do with it. Um, okay, this can go back. The Jilted from Urban Decay. OG Lolita from Kat Von D, the Everlasting one. I used this, I think. Did I? Did I even use this one? See, this is the problem. I can't remember um, using lip liners. <laughs> Satin Mauve. Uh, I guess I'll... No, I guess I'll keep it. I don't think I did use that one. This one I did use, this is Naked 2 from Urban Decay. This one I used, it's, um, I thought it was Bell Rose I was pulling in, but this one is actually the Nude Suede Shoes one from NYX. And then this I actually used. I hardly ever use this, but I did use it. And this is the Sephora um, Contour Eye Pencil in Fairy Tale. The Wet n Wild ones, I don't know why, I haven't really been using them. I think it's just... Well, the pink one in particular, I haven't really been wearing colors like that. But I still want to keep them in because I like these just... I like the formula so much. So I'm going to keep those in. And then I'll take out this Buxom eyeliner. It's the Hold the Line eyeliner and Call Me. It's just a black. But I like to rotate through my blacks um, and not spend too much time on one or the other. Okay, so up here I've got two Makeup Use It palettes and then this one from ColourPop, which has been in here twice, needs to come out. Those are just singles that I put into a palette. I am proud to say I use every single eyeshadow in here this time. So I'm still going to keep my Essence Snowflake just because I like that for inner corner. But everything else from here is going out. I also use every blush. So this NYX um, Ombre blush, summer's over. This needs to go back. This has been in here all summer long. It's my favorite summer blush ever, but it needs to go back. Makeup use up, makeup use up. And then everything else, I only use this once, this Surratt one, you guys. I don't know if I swatched this for you last time. Look at how crazy that is. But with a super light hand, I was able to use it. Um, I'll probably pull this one back soon. This is Berry, it's a good fall shade. I only use that once. But I do love this, Bang Bang You're Dead from Makeup Revolution. I used this one from Too Faced quite a few times. And this one was so good from Tarte. Um, this is in Oasis. And it's just like a really nice, neutral, everyday shade. Love that so much, I used it a lot. Okay, for bronzer and contour, this one again has been my favorite summer bronzer. This is Sun Mask from MAC. It's like a burnt, sunburnt looking bronzer. Love it so much, but summer's over now. I need to go back. This is broken. This, um, oh, yeah. I was going to say I should keep this in and just try to use it up, but it's totally broken and I have purchased a full size, so I feel like I shouldn't keep struggling with this ridiculous little broken one. I hope the full size one doesn't break like that. Anyway, this is the Quickie Contour Stick by Hoola um, by Benefit. I love it. That's why I bought a full size, but this is driving me crazy, so I'm going to take that out and use another contour for a while. And this, I love. This is not from this summer, but last summer, the Glam Bronze Bronzer from L'Oreal. Um, I don't know if this is the same bronzer they come out with every summer, but they do come out with the limited edition bronzer every summer. Like, I, what I mean is I don't know if the formula is the same in packaging, it just changes all the time. But I love this. It looks so good on the skin. It's so pretty. So both of these are my lips, and I use everything this time, I'm proud to say. Um, this is a makeup use-up, so that stays in there. This is actually brand new. This is from Wet n Wild. It's called Spiked with Rum, and I only used this one time, but I want to keep it in there. I did use it, but I only used it once. But it's such a nice fall shade. I actually brought this in like after I did my last update, so I'm just going to keep that one in there. I just want to make sure like there's nothing that I really want to keep. I actually do want to keep the Huda Beauty lip strobes, I think, in here. At least one more rotation because I don't love lip glosses, but I love these. And I've been wearing them a ton, especially in videos. So I'm going to keep that one in. This can come out. 
there's the other lip strobe in Angelic. If you guys haven't seen the swatch, just look at look at how gorgeous it is. Like they are so pretty. And then everything else in here, kind of feel like I want to keep this in too, because I did use it, but I love it so much. That's the Bare Minerals um, Statement Matte in OMG. So yeah, I'll keep that in and try to remember that I've kept some stuff so I don't go overboard with lips. But everything else here I've used and I'm putting back. One. This is a different room. It's got fish tanks. It's got terrible lighting. I think I might be getting a new space soon, by the way, you guys. But for now, it just is what it is. What it is. Um, this box is where I'm starting to put stuff that I've like used in a first impression but not actually used in my daily life yet. Or some stuff that is new that I don't feel like putting in a haul. Um, I will haul this, but I just haven't yet. And I need to use it because I'm playing around with it so I can do a tutorial. The Natasha Denona Lila palette, so that's coming in. Um, the Urban Decay Little Vices, I just did a video on this and I do like some of these colors a lot. So let me just see here. Okay, I feel like this time around I want to use 1993 and double crossed and the rest I will put away. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder from Becca in Pink Haze. I'm going to bring that in. And also the Dual Finish Highlighter in Sparkling Peach from Lancome. I wore this once so far in a video and I hauled it, but I haven't used it since then. It's so pretty. Also, this is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer in Apricot Haze. I use a sample, but this is brand new. Still haven't tried this yet, so I'm gonna do that. That's the Master Fairy Highlight by Face Studio from Maybelline. And the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Swirl in Gilded Honey. For sure, I'm gonna be bringing that in. I've got a bunch of lip products. Actually, all the rest of this is lip products. I feel like I should bring in most of this stuff, to be honest with you. This is the Amore Matte Lip Cream from Milani in Pretty. Um, Plumeria from Anastasia. Let's bring that in. I'll leave this one for now. It's Stargazer. This is a Bite Beauty. This was a 100 point perk. It's st it still might be around in number 34. And then I've got these two infallible colors from L'Oreal. These are, yeah, this one I used in a video. So actually I should just put that away. And then this one is new. This is Angora, so I'm gonna bring that one in. This is new from Quo, this is brand new for fall. It's such a cool color. It's kind of somewhat sheer, but it's like this deep purple. Anyway, it is in the shade Eggplant. And then this I haven't used yet, so I should bring this in. It's the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Sassy. So that's it for that. And since we're already up here, let's just do liquid lip colors. Oh yeah, this is brand new. I just decided not to haul it. This is from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Nice to Fuchsia. So let's bring that one in. And then, what other liquid lip colors should I do? I've got all these Sephora collection ones. Some of these, to be honest with you, I know I hate. I just can't remember which is which. Um, let's do number 40. I think that might be too light, but I guess we'll know once I use it. And then, how about back here? I've got some Anastasia. These are more, oh, this is ColourPop. Oh shoot, oh my gosh. I think I bought this again. <laughs> I forgot I even had this. The I Love Sarah I um, in 951. Shoot, I think I ordered that a second time. Okay, well if I did, it's going in a giveaway. Let me put Crush back. What else do I, see this is not good when I don't even know what I have back here. This is not good, you guys. Okay, this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. I've tried that once, but I wanna use it again. The Rabbit can go back, because I use that a ton. Little Ficious, I've used a ton. Chandelier, I have not used that much. That's another good nudie color. Um, and then these Anastasia ones. I don't know, I feel like not in the mood for those colors. No glosses, because I kept the... Um, Huda Beauty ones. And let me just do one other liquid lip color. Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals. Let's do this one, which is Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in Rebel Rose. So that should be good. Here's my highlighter drawer. One thing I know for sure I want to use, I haven't used it in a while, is the Casey Holmes Smashbox um, highlight palette 
in pearl. I love this so much. It's so nice on the cheeks. It doesn't look like anything in there, but it's beautiful on the cheeks. I've been missing that one, so let's do that. What else have I been missing? I've got two other highlighters there. No, I've got, oh shoot, I've got three other highlighters there. Okay, well I can pull in one more thing then. Okay, let's do this one. This is Urban Decay um, Sin, and I have not used this in forever, so we'll bring that one in as well. I know, I'm sorry you guys, I'm still trying to figure out angles for when I film these videos, and it's just, it's kind of difficult. So I know you can't really see everything, but it's just, <laughs> this is the best I can get it. Um, for foundation, for sure I want to bring this in. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir. I love this. It's gorgeous. So I only have my makeup use up and then that Estee one, which I said I might put back. So I should probably pull in three. So we'll do that one. I need a good mattifying one. Let's try one I haven't used in a while. Let's go with, no, yeah, let's go with this. The Dior Forever Foundation. It's not my favorite, but you know, I definitely want to get some use out of it because it's quite expensive. I want to get my money's worth. So we'll bring that one in and then how about this? This is the Lancome uh, Tint Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick, and mine is in the shade 140. I only use this like twice so far. So now that we're getting into cooler weather, I want to test it out a little bit more to see how it wears on my skin now that it's fall. So for eyeshadow, I only have the Lila palette so far, and then my makeup use up. Oh, I did keep my singles. Okay. So this needs to come in. This is the Clara number no. two Pro Palette. Um, from Clara Cosmetics. It's gorgeous. I've only ever swatched it now that we're fall. These are gorgeous fall colors. So I've been waiting for fall to bring this in. So now we're going to do that. And I don't think I need any more like little palettes. Um, actually, maybe I'll bring this in because this has some nice fall shades in here. And these two on the bottom are very new to me. I only used them a couple times last time I used it. So I know I used it recently, but I'm going to do it again. And then in here, let's grab one of the pink Stila ones. Um, I've got Sea Siren, which has a blue shift to it, and then Sunset Cove, which is just more pinky silver. Let's do Sunset Cove. And anything else? Yes, okay. I wanna bring this. This is the um, Armani Eyes to Kill in number five. I love these, these are amazing. And I just used the champagne one last time, so what else is in here? Okay, let's bring this in. This is the um, Tarte Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. It's actually a liner, but I love using it as a cream shadow. It's in the shade Rose Gold. This is stunning on the eyes. It's so gorgeous. And what about, what's in here? This stuff is not really organized very well, but I don't have a ton of it, so <laughs> usually I can see what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? I haven't used this in forever. This is Synergy from Kat Von D from the Metal Crush line. Oh yeah, this stuff is so soft and gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. Oop. Look at how beautiful that is. So yeah, let's bring that in for fall. I think you can see well enough in here. So this is my blush drawer. I used all my blushes last time. So usually I need about, I have two makeup use up ones. So I think five more is good. This is for a period of about three weeks. That way everything gets used usually about two or three times each. So I gotta pull in five things. I'm gonna count this as two because I really kind of mix and match these. But this is the um, Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette. So it's got three shades, but you know, I mix and match them. But that'll be good for full. And how about, okay, I need a nice like neutral, like an everyday, oh, I haven't used this in a long time. From Too Faced, this is the Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. Yeah, that should be a good everyday one. This from From Clinique, it's the Black Honey Pop. This, again, really nice kind of fall, deep mauve shade. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's just like a nice everyday deep mauve for fall. So two, four, and I said five, right? So only one other thing. Oh, geez. I'm really painting myself in a corner using that blush palette. Kind of wanted to use this. Mm. Stuff in the 
back usually doesn't get touched a lot. But usually that's for good reason because it's stuff I don't love as much. Um, okay, I don't really see myself needing to use any of that stuff. Bumpy Ride, Dolce Vita can go for next time. Yeah. I think I'll bring in this. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Blush in Make Love Instead. Um, this is more like an everyday one from the other one I was using. Actually, now that I'm looking at these blushes I'm pulling, a lot of them are like very everyday. I feel like I need a nice pink one, like a nice pinky pink. So what about this? This is actually like a loose blush thingamabobber. Um, this is from Paul and Joe and it is the cheek color CS105 and it's got Siamese cats. SSDGM. There you go. Again with the weird angle, but sorry guys. Okay, this is kind of a random assortment of stuff. I've got primers, concealers, and bronzers and contour. So for bronzer and contour, I still have a makeup use up one. Oh yeah, you know what? I don't have that contour quickie stick in here because I haven't actually hauled it yet. I was gonna put that in the haul, so that's what I'll do. So I'll grab a different contour thing for now. Let me grab this because I haven't used this in a long time and I really like it. It's from City Color. It's the Contour FX2 and I don't use these two. Actually, I should just depot this because it takes up a lot of space. Um, but I love this contour shade. So I'm gonna use that and then I really wanna use this bronzer now that my skin is gonna start losing its tan. This will be good. This is from Becca. Um, it's the new bronzer in Bally Sands Sunlit Bronzer. Love this. So the only primer that I have in there is the one I kept from NARS and that'll be done very soon. Why don't I pull this one in? This is from Cover FX. It's the mattifying primer. Um, this is like a travel size, so it'd be good to make my way through that. And then, oops, see this, this drawer is messy. Um, and then I'll use this. This is in our Smooth and Protect primer, and this has SPF 50, which is why I love it so much. So concealer, I kept my color corrector so I could use that up. Um, I still want to try like these other products from Benefit. So I actually tried this one the other day, this Boing Hydrating Concealer. This is basically, it used to be called Fake Up and I, I actually had it before. Very, very lightweight, um, but very hydrating concealer. Like it won't barely cover anything, but if you have dry under eyes, it's okay for like a no makeup day when you just wanna barely cover your under eyes. So I don't really need to test that. These two I do, so let me do the Boing Brightening Concealer this time around. I'll leave that one for next time. And then, how many concealers do I have in there? Zero. No, I just have my one that's my skin tone, but not a brightening one. So I need at least two concealers. Let's do, okay, let's do this. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer. This one is very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape in coverage and how thin of a consistency it is, but it is slightly drying like the Tarte one as well. So why don't I grab one that I know doesn't have a lot of coverage for me, but I can mix it. So why don't I grab the L'Oreal Infallible one, um, the Pro Glow. This is new to the drugstore. I don't love it. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but if I mix these, it should be good. So this is my powder drawer. I need something for a loose powder for under the eyes. So I'm going to grab this. I haven't used this in quite a while my RCMA no color powder. So let's pull that in. And then I'm gonna need at least one like powder foundation type thing. Um, I have a few options here. I think I'll use this. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundation, but it's more like just a setting powder on me. Love that, it's super good for mattifying. Do I need another powder? I feel like I want to bring this in though because this is a loose powder but it's more for all over the face. I have the Fit Me powder in number 15 but it's so dark. Like I talked about this in um, a products I regret buying video because it's so dark even though it's in number 15 light. So I grabbed the number 10 fair light and that looks like significantly lighter. So I want to try this out. I think I like the formula, but I want to try this out in terms of color. So I'll bring this in as well. And this drawer down here is mostly like palettes that I just don't use. So looking at it, I don't think there's anything in here I need to use this time around. So these are all my main palettes that I keep out, like the ones I love the most and use the most. Looking at what I've got, I've got one big palette already, 
one medium palette, a bunch of little single eyeshadows. So I think I can probably grab two things from here. Not sure what I want. That's probably a good idea though, because this is very fall, the Queen of Hearts palette. Um, I've used this stuff recently, have I? Yes, I feel like I have not used my Kat Von D palettes in a long time. Like this one, just the matte one. Oh, sorry. Just the, what's this even called? I can't remember. Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Yeah, I haven't used that in forever. So let's bring that in. And I also feel like, I feel like this is so similar to the Lila palette though. So maybe I shouldn't use that one. I haven't used this in a very long time. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, and I do love this palette. So I'm gonna grab this because it's a little bit different than everything else I've grabbed. Okay, here's all my lip liners and eyeliners for black. I need a black eyeliner. Why don't I use the NARS one? I haven't used this in a long time. The NARS Larger Than Life in Via Veneto. And then I haven't used this in a long time either. This is the Essence Dip Eyeliner Waterproof. I love this. So I'll grab that. This has no cap. Why is it in here? No cap. That's sad. Okay, this is probably a good thing to pull in for fall. So this is the Estee Edit Eye Kajal. I've got Twisted Teal on this side, Tarnish Gold on that side. Um, I think that's probably good for eyeliner. And then for lip liner, it's, this one is always so hard because I, I never know what I want to match with what until I'm actually doing it. Um, okay. Oh, what about this MAC one in Soar? That's a good everyday. And then this MAC one in Subculture, that's a good nude. And then for darker ones, this is really the only dark one I have. This is the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Rouge. It's not really Rouge though. It's more like I don't know, kind of a deeper burgundy. So I'll pull that one in. And that's good for that. And now I'm gonna hold the camera in my hand, very shakily, probably, while I pick lipsticks. So this is my lip um, area. <laughs> I don't really have a name for it. Um, okay, so I'm sorry. I know that this is gonna be shaky and I don't wanna do that to you guys, but it just is what it is. So I grabbed a lot of liquid stuff this time like seven so i think maybe like another six things let me grab this this is the hourglass girl stilo in achiever that's like an everyday brownie shade oh, i also had those two from urban decay as well um okay what else do i really love that i haven't used and diva yeah that one's good oh twig no okay we'll put diva back for like the more way into fall but this is like an everyday kind of um, natural nude, if that makes sense. This pinup pout from NYX is new and I haven't really used it at all. I think I maybe used it once in Boundless. But those are all like everyday, so I probably need, I don't know, oh shoot, Sugar Plum Fairy? No, that should also be more for way into fall. How about this? The Maybelline Color Jolt in Talkback Red. I don't have any reds yet, so that would be good. And how about this from Milani? This is Uptown Mauve. It's more of like a purpley shade, so that should probably be good too. And then this one, this was actually the Christmas color last year from Too Faced, the Melted in Melted Berry, but I think this would be awesome fall shade as well, so I think that should be good this time around. Okay, so everything is put away. After looking at the amount of lip product, like there's two drawers, I had 24 things. That's a bit much. So I am going to put back these two, the OMG, which I had already used from last time, and then Rebel Rose, because I've used this many times before. So I'm actually not gonna include those this time, but everything else in those lip drawers is pretty good. And then this is the way everything is looking. So this is the way everything else is looking. I've got palettes on top. Um, yeah, that's just makeup use up now, so that's actually really good. And then this is all the eyeshadow, kind of the smaller things. The blush is fitting in there well. And then bronzer and contour down there. 
So this is the way everything else is looking. Over here, this is actually that blush, but it wouldn't fit up there. Got a lot of highlighter, but that's about the amount of highlighter I use every time. I've also got a lot of powder over there. I didn't remember I had that Becca one. So I've got a couple loose powders, but that's okay. I should be able to at least try everything multiple times. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you're new around here. I'd love to see you around in the future and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. But that's it for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.